sur The Council épisode 10. Dans l'épisode 9, face à face, on, avait, on devait retrouver notre mère dans la crypte. Ce qu'on a fait à la fin de l'épisode, voyons ce qui nous attend dans l'épisode 10 qui s'appelle l'épreuve de la foi. Reassure me, we aren't going to have to force that one, are we? I don't think we're even capable of doing it. You're going to have to find a way to open it. Why, of course. And what's inside? Something to vanquish them with? Perfect. So, how does it open? We'll need several keys. I found a note from the architect who conceived the mechanism in Mortimer's secret study. We have to first gather five objects before we try anything. Are the five objects the keys? Exactly. We have the Clement III cross, the nails, the Gutenberg Bible, the exegesis of Judas, an armillary sphere, and all we need to match up the dates between the different calendars. Why a cross? Well, I haven't the foggiest idea, but it just so happens that's what you are going to use to activate the mechanism. I found the one Mortimer kept. It belonged to Cardinal Guibert, better known by the name of Pope Clement III. Perfect. Where is it? Unfortunately, I've lost it. When I lost my hand, I went dashing out, and it must have fallen from my pocket. Remember, Mother, I I'm certain you can remember. Let me think. You were running. I was bleeding to death. You remember the pain? I thought I was going to faint. Yes, I remember. I don't think it can be far, can it? Would you have lost it outside? No, I don't think so. It must be in the area. I don't remember going up with it. Perfect. I'll search the crypt before leaving. Some nails? Don't ask me. I'm not the one who made the mechanism, you know. When I arrived, there were already a few of them inserted, so I didn't have to worry about those. On the other hand, I remember seeing some in Mortimer's secret study, behind his nightmare. In a golden cup? Yes. Yes, I saw them too. Perfect. It will be easy for you to find them then. You need three of them. Very well. You remember what to do about the rollers. 1191 to enter. And 6466 to exit. Of course. An exegesis. Anything else? Hmm. You... Did you manage to vanquish the Medusa? To open the chimney? Yes, absolutely. So you've already come across it. It's the Bible of Judas that is exposed in the secret room behind the chimney. Why do they call it an exegesis? Because that's what it is, and not an apocryphal Bible, strictly speaking. It's the study of a text with a summary, not an actual Bible. Anyway, well done for the Gorgon. You did well. You didn't get tricked by the light bouncing back. Thanks. Do you think I can take it safely? We haven't got a choice, Louis. Without it, we won't be able to work out this cursed mechanism. This is the book in which you left your correspondence with Duchess Hillsborough, isn't it? That's right. You still believe it's in the tower room, don't you? I don't know. There is only one way to find out, though. Right. I shall go and see. There's one in the portrait gallery. Yes, but it's enormous. If you don't want to have to go back and forth several times, then I suggest you get a smaller one. What did you do then? I didn't think I'd need one. I started without one, and I lost my hand before I did need one. And you can see the result. What do you mean by the concordance of dates, exactly? Don't worry about that. We already have them. They are written on the back of the message I just gave you. One last thing before you go. Be very careful. If you come across anyone, they can all potentially be spies of Mortimer or Holm. Don't ever confide in anyone because a demon can slip inside them at any moment. Wait, not all of them though. Take Washington. Especially Washington. He's been conditioned by Mortimer for years. Look at them for crying out loud. How do you explain their behavior otherwise? The most influential politicians in the Western world gather together without the least protection, without a single aid to assist them, to participate in a conference during which the guests start dropping like flies. Me, Adams, Peru, Hillsborough, look at the number of calamities that have happened over the past few days. 
and not one of them has asked to leave the island? Do you find that normal? You'll see. Go up to the manor to look for the keys, and I wager not one of them will speak to you about my being in Emily's room. Do you think so? Go on, you'll see. And come back with all the objects in one go. Time is against us. And remember, the code to get out of the secret office is 6466. Alors, on a combien de points on, on peut équiper trois manuscrits. Faire un rubis. Alors, Milord, j'ai fini la mise à jour de la serrure de votre porte blindée. Comme convenu, vous aurez besoin de plusieurs éléments afin de l'ouvrir. La croix de Clément III, on a déjà trouvé. Des clous, notre Sarah récupérée par Mortimer caché dans son bureau. La Bible de Gutenberg, utilisée par Emma dans la salle de la tour. Et eh bien, ça en fait des choses à trouver. Euh, signé Gustave, au dos du message est noté. Ta 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 ta. Eh bien, ça va pas être facile tout ça. Alors, elle a dit qu'elle avait perdu une clé par ici. Famous cross of Clément III. Perfect. In one key found. On va faire le tour pour voir si elle n'a pas des potions. See if I can work it out myself. It looks like a kind of control panel. It looks like certain mechanisms I've seen before. I wouldn't be surprised if I had to put the claim of the third cross in it. Tell me, mother. You wouldn't know anything that might save me some time, would you? That's where you'll have to put the Clement the Third cross. You insert the cross into the slot, and it will open the iris. But don't do it straight away. Start by gathering everything together, because you've seen what happens when you try to go too fast. You ought to go, Louis. If someone finds us here, the situation might well become seriously complicated. Alors, faut qu'on trouve tout. Alors, euh, on a trouvé la croix. La sphère, euh, elle se trouve dans la galerie des portraits. L'exégèse se trouve au niveau de la méduse. Les clous dans le bureau. Et la Bible dans la chambre de la tour. C'est pas gagné, hein?
Alors, avec ma mémoire de poisson rouge, les portraits, il y a longtemps qu'on les a faits avec la méduse. Hein. Definitely an armillary sphere, but I have to find one that I can take with me. Otherwise, I risk drawing too much attention to my comings and goings. Now, where can I find a smaller one? Il me faut une sphère comme ça, beaucoup plus petite. Ça par là par hasard. Right. Let's see if the statues are in place yet. Statue is not positioned correctly. Je me rappelle plus c'était. That statue is not positioned correctly. Open sesame. So that's Pandora's box? An urn? Mother seemed worried that I was able to open it. Hmm. I wonder why. So, I did well not to touch it. Alors, je ne cache pas que je sais pas trop ce que je cherche là. That's the exegesis of Judas. I hope Warner doesn't read it very often, otherwise he's going to notice that someone's stolen. But that's just too bad. I need it. Mortimer serait César. Hein? Wow. Et il y a pas une autre. Given all the relics preserved here, it wouldn't surprise me if Mortimer claimed it was Excalibur. Notre sphère. Hein? A fragment of amber. Ring of the Nibelungs. 
Even if Mortimer is several centuries old, I don't see what part he has in this legend. Bon, on se barre. Right. I've got what I need. Now let's not waste any more time. Donc la sœur, on a trouvé la l'exégèse. Alors, les clous seraient derrière le tableau de Mortimer. Mais on n'a pas de, de petite sphère comme celle-là. Là. Il nous faut une réplique de ça. Right. It's definitely an armillary sphere, but I have to find one that I can take with me. Otherwise, I risk drawing too much attention to my comings and goings. Now, where can I find a smaller one? Je ne sais pas du tout. Jesus announces that he will be betrayed by one of his disciples. Il va falloir courir trop vite là. C'est de la bibliothèque. Alors. J'essaie de rien rater. Je regarder bien autour de moi pour la fameuse sphère. Sur la table, non. Papillon partout. Alors. Il y a quelqu'un là. On va aller lui parler. Napoléon. God damn it, Richie. Are you joking or what? You sell me pipe dreams about Mortimer's project. And a few hours later, one of your allies completely breaks down. Is this what Mortimer's side is all about? What am I going to do now? 
Come now, my Lord Duke. You know very well that at this level, things can get pretty rough. You ought to be used to it. Rest assured, Lord Mortimer has bounced back before. It's not an issue. What can I do for you? I'm dreaming. My mother was right. He's not going to tell me one word about what happened to Italy. To tell you the truth, I'm in search of an armillary sphere. You wouldn't know where I can find it, would you? Well, well. So you do have a passion for astronomy. Von Vollmer has already bored me quite enough with all of his endless stories. You want to concentrate, do you? Politics is an art that requires all one's attention. Refrain from spreading yourself too thin and leave stargazing to the poets. What can I say? I have only- Ask Vollmer. I am sure he must have it among his effects. Perfect. Thank you, my lord Duke. Leave me now. See you later. Volner. Demandez à Volner. C'est Napoléon, il est passé d'autres pièces à la nuit. Il a brûlé. si je trouve pas des petites fioles aussi l'importance de prendre des petites fioles. On a fait le tour là. J'en oublie pas. Il m'a dit Volmer. Monsieur 
the alchemist as a young man. You look like a punk. The Arbinary Sphere. Perfect. That will save me some time. I only hope that he's not going to realize it right away. I only clue. Comment on va à la tour hein. On va lui demander. Sorry, sir, but Mr. Pedro is not seeing visitors at the moment. He's resting, and he's to see no one. Good luck. On va y aller. Par là, hein. Chambre de la tour. Euh, derrière moi. Derrière moi, au niveau d'escalier. Someone's been burning something here. Incredible. He doesn't seem to want to speak to me about what happened between my mother and the Hillsborough sisters. Show me a little. Look, it's possible to distinguish two different writing styles. Hmm. The rest of the correspondence between my mother and Emma. Someone tried to burn an exchange of messages. I am certain. There must be more. Shit. What on earth is he doing? A servant must have burnt some old papers, that's all. Why, of course. You very nearly made me think that you were trying to hide something, Louis. No, I am sure there must be other hidden messages. He won't let go. He's going to work his way back to the Bible if he continues. On cherche la Bible, mais on a lui qui nous prend la tête. Hein. Dante's Paradise. Raise your head and be reassured. For what comes up here from the mortal world must ripen in our eyes. Bible. Il manque les clous. 
dans le bureau de Mortimer. Rappelez-vous qu'on avait tué, sans faire attention, on avait tué l'oiseau là. Tiens, comment on rentre déjà Je me rappelle plus. A painting. Looks unfinished. A piece by Lord Mortimer, I presume. Hmm. A rather avant-garde technique. The Titan against men. Alors, elle nous a dit que pour entrer, comme on avait fait la dernière fois, c'était un, un, neuf, un. Tu le fais tout seul ou c'est moi qui le fais C'est moi, c'est moi qui le fais. Alors. One. One. Ah oui, il y a un problème avec les 6 et les 9, hein. Donc là, il nous manque les clous. Un peu trop facile, je trouve. On va bien se faire choper, je crois. Allez, les clous. Je ne sais plus où je les ai vus. On redit pas tout, hein, on l'avait vu dans les épisodes précédents. Bon, je vous remettrai tout le let's play à la fin, comme d'habitude. They were old and rusty, but but I had no 
know these traces of... Could that be blood? It, is it really the relic of the Holy Cross? I can hardly believe it. The most sophisticated microscope there is. When I think of the difficulty the order had in getting hold of one of these, on n'avait pas réussi à ouvrir ici là. It's locked. Et on se barre parce qu'on va se faire choper. Alors euh, c'était. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Six four six six, if I remember correctly. Ah, but he's out all alone. I didn't have to do the code. Well, now we have to find the garden. That would be a nice party. Oh, what is this? There are no stairs there. Ça ne s'est pas attrapé et ça ne saurait durer, hein, je pense. Les jardins, les jardins. Euh... Non, pas par là. Le labyrinthe, alors. Maudit labyrinthe, alors hop, non. Oh my god, l'enfer le tourne retournons voir maman Hop.
So, good. You've managed to gather all the keys. Yes, that's right. I have everything. What should I start with? Place the Clement III cross on the console. Then you have to put the nails on the disc that's of the door. Hmm. Qu'est-ce qu'elle avait choisi, elle, et qu'elle s'est fait bouffer la main pour pas faire pareil? What theme did you start with? As the fresco shows the birth of Christ, I placed one nail in Bethlehem, one in chapter two, and one in verse six. The iris opened a little. I thought it was normal. Behind the aperture of the iris, there is a duct in which I put my hand. I felt something like a valve at the bottom. I thought by turning it, the door would open, or the iris would open completely, or something else would happen. Instead, I felt something like an axe cut off my hand. I really thought it was the end of me. What did you do then? Well, although I had made some unfortunate choices, I was lucky in that Mortimer was well stocked with drugs. I raided his supplies of medicine. Alors, il faut qu'on mette les clous. Donc, dans une ville, dans un chapitre et dans un verset. Et elle, elle s'est fait découper la main parce qu'elle n'avait pas choisi les bons trucs. Elle avait choisi Bethléem, chapitre 2, verset 6, et ça lui a coupé la main. Alors, euh... All right, my turn now. Go ahead, impress me. I'll shut up and let you concentrate. Je vais faire bouffer la main, moi aussi. Alors, mettre la croix... Exegesis contains comments from Judas on the different Gospels. It only contains certain chapters and verses, and the chapters are indicated by Roman numerals. The lexicon refers to different chapters and verses from the exegesis of Judas. Alors, le lexique renvoie aux différents chapitres et versets de l'exégèse de Judas, thématique. Hein? Baptême, crucifixion, jugement, thème suivant. Ville. Alors, faut pas prendre Bethléem. Est-ce que je peux pas. Euh... Est-ce que j'ai pas une aide? Je vais me faire bouffer la main, je sens. Hein. Analyser la fresque. Analyser l'ensemble de la. The fresco clearly shows the birth of Christ. Louis, I can assure you that that is not the solution to this enigma. This fresco's only purpose is to mislead. I know that now. Please, focus on another theme about Christ. We'll have to trust her. If Mortimer deliberately set a trap by showing the birth of Christ, then maybe the solution is the contrary. The death of Christ in that case? You can see that the paint has come off in parts. It's difficult to see what was there, but I can distinguish the letters N, R, I. Nothing more. Comprendre les signes. Comprendre les sigles. They're part of the initials INRI that you can find on the cross of Jesus at his crucifixion. Why, of course, INRI, Jesus Nazarenus Rex Yodoro. These initials stand for Jesus the Nazarene, King of the Jews. 
This is the inscription which appears on the cross at the crucifixion of Jesus. Looks like there are three types of inscriptions. These towns have one thing in common. They're all related to the life and death of Jesus. For example, Jordan is the place of the baptism of Christ. Clearly, we have names of towns, Arabian numerals, and Roman numerals. These towns have one thing in common. They're all related to the life and death of Jesus. For example, Jordan is the place of the baptism of Christ. J'ai pas assez pour le fonctionnement. Alors, on va relire le bouquin parce qu'il parlait de Judas. La mort de Jésus, crucifixion. Chapter 19, verse 17. Chapitre 9. Jesus was crucified on the 8th of Nisan, 3793, in a place 7. near Jerusalem. The Romans put a crown of thorns on his head. Chapter 19, verse 17. And he, bearing his cross, went forth into a place called the place of a skull, which is called in Golgotha. the Hebrew, Golgotha, where they crucified him and two others with him on either side, and Jesus in the midst. Okay, so Golgotha, chapter 9, verse 17. The cycle of the moons has nothing to do with what I'm doing right now. Hello. On a dit Golgotha. Faut que je récupère mes clous. Alors, verset euh, 19, non, chapitre 19, verset 17, et Golgotha. Voilà. Analyser les roues intérieures. There are different icons on this wheel, but it looks like some of them can't be connected to the other wheels. de fiole Mother, what do you think? As I told you, I didn't get that far. Nevertheless, these icons do represent moments in the life of Christ. several symbols made up of one or two figures and one letter. The highest figure does not exceed 31, and each letter corresponds to a month of the year, A for April and M for March. I think these symbols must represent a specific date. This wheel represents the different moons. 
and in cult sciences, we represent the full moon by an X. As for the dark moon, called the new moon, in cults, it's well, it's often associated with something harmful. Look at this. There are notches between each of the wheels. So, I have to link the name of the town from the theme I've chosen to an icon, then to a date, and finally, the date to the moon. Choisis Bethesda. During new moon, the moon is entirely in the shadow. Then, the shadow moves from west to east, meaning left to right, and goes through the following states: waxing crescent, first quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon. Waning Gibbous, last quarter, waning crescent, and the cycle starts over with the full shadow new moon. The moon shadow moves from west to east. Sixth of Lyar, 3789, waxing crescent. 20th of Du Alhaja, 561. Waiting Gibbous. Sixth of Rajah, 611, Waxing Crescent. Thirtieth of Ramadan, 554, Waning Crescent. Fifth of Jamada al Pahani, 609, Waxing Crescent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know. 7th of the Shaban, 607, first quarter. Okay. 8th of Ramadan, 553, waxing crescent. 13th of Shaban, 607, waxing gibbous. Et la dernière? 19th of the Jamada al-Wal, 639. Waiting gives. During new moon, the moon is entirely in the shadow. Then, the shadow moves from west to east, meaning left to right, and goes through the following states. Waxing crescent, first quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, last quarter, Wayne Crescent, and the cycle starts over with the full shadow new moon. Ok, ben on va tester. Je suis pas sûre de moi. Alors, tournez la roue des icônes. Alors, le petit bitonio là-haut entre le 9 et le 3, je pense qu'il faut le mettre entre Jérusalem et Jordan. Je vois super mal. Hein. See what combination corresponds to the chosen theme. Je vois super mal les dates. Voilà, le 29 S et après Je pense qu'on est bon, mais on va voir si je vais pas me prendre la main, me faire arracher la main comme ma mère. Hein. Je 
I can feel the lever at the bottom. Good luck. Allez, on y va. I never doubted you, my son. Succès déverrouillé, la main de tir. Alors, on a récupéré tous les, toutes les clés que notre mère nous avait demandé de trouver. On a retrouvé la croix égarée. On a fait le bilan du colloque avec Manuel Godoy. On a ouvert la première route de la porte de la crypte et on a déchiffré le code de la porte de la crypte. On n'a rien raté et il n'y avait pas d'autre alternative. Eh bien, tant mieux. Mais écoutez. On en reste là de cet épisode de 3, chapitre 10. Alors moi, je vais plutôt chapitre 3, épisode 10. Donc on verra ce qu'on fera dans le prochain épisode, le chapitre 11. J'espère que ça vous aura plu. N'oubliez pas de vous abonner à la chaîne YouTube, un petit pouce en l'air, un commentaire, la petite cloche pour euh, savoir quand c'est que je vous poste une vidéo. Et puis on se retrouve très vite pour la suite de The Concile. Bye bye